Good morning. It's going to be hot today in Texas. You know, I've been telling you we've had lots of rain and it's been cool. Well, it's hot now. So I'm going to do some baking. And I'm going to bake something that is banana bread that you can make into many different things. Cakes, muffins, or you can put them in a loaf. I'm going to do it in my grandmother's butt pan because um, I, that way it will be like a cake. Okay, I have here two and a fourth cups of sugar, three beaten eggs, okay, I have a stick and a half of butter, use real butter, don't use that margarine stuff, okay, I'm going to get this going here, get it blended up good, this is probably the cake that people ask me the most for. I think Amy took a picture of the wedding cake I did a few few videos ago. This makes a great three layer cake, two layer cake, anything you wanna make with it. Okay, now I'm gonna put a half a cup of buttermilk in here. Get it going pretty good here. To this, I'm gonna add a little over a teaspoon of good vanilla. I'm gonna add, I've had this recipe, this is another one of those 50 year old ones. A teaspoon of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, don't add it. Another thing I like to add, this is flaxseed meal, and I buy it bulk. And, uh, which is the same way I order my, um, all my spices. I'm just gonna add a little bit in here just for some extra nutrition, maybe two tablespoons. Okay, that's going good. Now let me tell you about these funny looking bananas. They've been in the freezer. I buy them at the store when they have them marked down in the bags and just take the bag and just put the whole thing right in the freezer. Freezing them just gives them a wonderful, more of a sweetness. And you don't have to worry about mushing them up before you put them in there. You just squeeze them right on in like this. Then you put your, um, take the rest of this to the compost pile. So these bananas are for several things. They add potassium to your bread. Here's how they look. See, they're mushy. Okay, we're gonna, there's gonna be, the rest of this is coming in just a few minutes. So be sure and watch the second video. Okay, we've got our bananas, sugar, eggs, buttermilk, all that uh, mixed up good. I'm going to add two and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. In here, there's a little salt. There is a teaspoon and a half of soda and about three-fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to put these in here, get this in here good. Now, you don't have to add nuts, but everyone loves nuts. Try not to do them too fine, and then also, if they're in big pieces, they're gonna, it's going to make the cake harder to cut. So I'm going to put these nuts in here, and I did toast them. These are good Texas pecans. I'm going to scrape this bowl down. Make sure we get all this goodness down in here. And this does not have to be, like, beat to death. You know, just, just get it mixed up good like this. Okay. Then I'm going to put it in this pan, and when you come back, I'll show you how I cooked it. How long I cooked it, and how it looks, and we'll just have a piece of it. Okay, I'm just finishing up the best part. Well, not the best part, but a really good part of this cake. One thing I want to tell you is I did use six bananas. You can use most any size bananas. You don't have to have small or large. And uh, also, make sure they're thawed out before you put them in your cake mix, because if they're cold, they're going to seize your butter up. So here we are, ready to cut this cake that did not stick. There we go. This cake rarely sticks in the pan. I'll show you how pretty it is. Look how moist this cake is. You can just tell that that is moist and beautiful. Very good. It keeps a long time. And um, you'll love it if you try it. Thank you for coming. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I cooked it 55 minutes at 350 degrees. Now, if you're going to do it in a loaf pan, it won't take as long, or muffins wouldn't, or cake wouldn't. But this took 55 minutes. See you later. Bye-bye.